Yeah, no, we're real excited to be back in action. Uh, this was the first time we really, you know, after that COVID season in the spring, um, we, we've been, to, it seems like we've not been that far apart as we usually are, meaning we, you know, you typically play in the fall and then we've got a, an ab abbreviated spring. And, and uh, so I, I think what I'm excited about is that we've been able to work with the players uh, the, the the 25 that are coming back, uh, who, who all come, are coming back, and, and the new ones, but uh, we're, it, it's not like we're starting over, and uh, that's an exciting thing to have as a coach, and I think for the players, it gives them some real hope of of, uh, of how they can, uh, you know, approach the season, and with what level of confidence, and, and how they can um, make, a, uh, make it even better in the future. So you mentioned the COVID year. Um, what kind of new challenges does this season, competing in the fall, now impose on the team? Well, one, uh, yeah, there's there's always challenges in in, in it, um, but the, the probably the new one is for this group of players is as many young players as we have coming in. We've got 15 new players uh, from all over, and assimilating them into the program and into the team in a very short preseason uh, is um, is probably the biggest challenge. Uh, you know, there's some, some really good individuals uh, and we have some really good individuals coming back as well. So I, I'm, I'm excited if that chemistry works, that we'll be able to uh, achieve some of the goals that we have for the program. Um, you know, we, we, we don't often make our goals, uh, you know, outcome goals uh, because there's other people involved that we can't really uh, uh, control uh, and other factors that we can't control but but I think uh, our performances we can control and um, and that's going to be one of our challenges as well is to make sure that that uh, the obstacles don't get in the way and that the um, the team chemistry continues to gel. Perfect. You talked about the incoming class. Can you talk a little more about the team as a whole? Um, kind of reflect on your returners and some of your newcomers, um, what they bring to the table. Sure, it's uh, uh, starting with the returning players. Um, you know, we had, a, we had a successful year last year. We, we, um, we, we got a chance to play after, a, after just an unbelievably chaotic start. And, and uh, uh, I was even quarantined during a period of time during there. And, and thank, thank goodness uh, my assistant coach was there to, to help us through, um, but it, it really gave us a, an identity with that group, and and um, they were for the first time without all the the senior leadership that had graduated the year before. So now we're in a situation where the the leadership is is younger, uh, closer in age, and closer in in years to the the um, to the newcomers, and and I think that the the chemistry is 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 going to be real exciting. Uh, we do have some some very experienced players as well coming back. Uh, we've got uh, four of our players that are uh, MBA students, um, so they're you know they, obviously they've, they've they've spent some time in, at university, uh, and I think that'll be a, a real good uh, they're real good role models for uh, the young freshmen that are coming in uh, and realizing the potential of what a, a career at university is all about. Um, I think that the, the, the conference is going to be even stronger this year and that's going to be a, 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 something that we're, we're going to necessarily, not necessarily be afraid of, but uh, we have to be mindful of um, with St. Cloud State coming in and just the, the experience that all the other teams had in the GLIAC with the conference tournament that we had last year and, and, and so on and so forth. I think everybody is going to be in the conference one of the top teams to to, to, to finish uh, the the from last year the the uh, conference tournament I think is pretty much indicative of what what I, what I'm speaking to is um, you know it was the sixth and the fifth place team that were in in the championship final for the GLIAC last year and and anybody could have won that had they gotten those goals at the right time so I think there's a, a real sense of optimism uh, within the squad I think that. Uh, this is the first time that we're going into things knowing about some of the past and uh, hoping to change some of the future. Awesome. And finally, what are you most looking forward to uh, 
this upcoming season? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to the, the, the excitement that, that a college season typically brings. Um, I'm looking for the, 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 the ups and downs of, 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 of matches and of trainings and of, of, um, of tournament play and, and uh, with the aspirations of, of making it to, a, 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 to, to, to helping the players become even more confident and even more successful in, in what they're doing uh, both on the pitch and in, in the classroom.